Hey, what's up guys? I've got great news for you as I'm going to start sharing my picks on NFL player props. Yeah, baby! Well, most of you know what I'm talking about, but just in case there are a few of you that don't know what player props are, it basically means betting on the performance of a given player. For example, you could bet whether a specific quarterback is going to throw an interception or not, or whether a wide receiver is going to catch more than three passes or less than three passes, and so on. And the good news is those picks are going to be 100% free. I'm going to share all of them with you. And those are plays that I actually bet myself. Now you may be wondering, well, how are the picks made? Well, they are basically a mix of two things. First, I look at player projections made by very reliable websites. Well, I'm actually a member of some paid websites that have great information about the NFL and they do in-depth analysis. So I use the player projections that they, that they make and I also use my own judgment. So basically, here's what I do. I compare the lines with the player projection and if there's a fairly big discrepancy between the two and it makes sense to me, I'm going to bet it. Okay, now a pretty important warning, okay? Don't underestimate what I'm going to tell you. The odds matter a lot. What I mean is I do not recommend that you bet those player props if your bookie has odds that differ quite a bit from those that I'm going to present to you. If I place my bets with Pinnacle at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, October the 18th. Those are real lines. But if your bookie does not have lines that are as good, don't bet it. Okay, so for example, if I tell you that I placed a bet at plus 140 odds, and your bookie has plus 115, for example, that's not good. Just stay away. Don't tail blindly my bets, please. So, are you ready to rock and roll? Yes! So, without further ado, here are eight player props. All right, so pick number one, running back Devante Freeman to catch more than three and a half passes against the Rams at plus 140 odds in American format, which is the same as 2.4 in decimal odds. Well, well, the projections provided by the paid websites that I am a member of are 3.5, 3.6, 3.8 and 4.0 so roughly speaking they project about 3.7 receptions by Freeman this Sunday well now the question is what does that mean in terms of probabilities I'm not going to go into the details but I made some calculations and if a guy is expected to catch about 3.7 passes in a game that means he has about a 50% chance of going over 3.5 and 50% and to go under. So in other words, the fair odds on the over is plus 100 or 2.0 in decimal format. So this means you should bet this prop if the odds are greater than plus 100. In this case, it's much bigger than plus 100. This is actually one of the best bets this weekend. By the way, they are presented in no particular order. So I'm not necessarily saying that pick number one is better than pick number two, who's better than pick number three. Okay, there's no particular order. Pick number two goes to wide receiver Brandon Cooks to catch less than four and a half passes against the Falcons at minus 107 in American format. 
The projections by the paid websites are 3.6, 4.0, 4.2 and 4.4. Now based on these numbers, the fair odds on the under should be minus 170. So we are getting a great bargain at minus 107. Pick number three, Leonard Fournette from the Jacksonville Jaguars to catch more than four and a half passes. Now the odds with Pinnacle were plus 122 or 2.22. Here are the projections by the paid websites. And based on these numbers, the fair odds are plus 105. Now this bet is not the best. So you should bet if the odds are greater than plus 105. Now, now they are slightly above this. Pick number four. You should bet Jacoby Brissett to throw more than one and a half TD passes this weekend against the Houston Texans at plus 131. The expected number of TD passes by Brissett are 1.5, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7. So that's more or less 1.6. So if a QB is expected to throw 1.6 TD passes, the odds on the over should be plus 110. Now we are getting greater odds, so we're betting Brissett to throw at least two TD passes. Pick number five. This is a good one. Case Keenum to throw less than 213 and a half passing yards against the tough San Francisco 49ers defense at minus 116 odds in American format which is the same as 1.86 if you are more comfortable with decimal odds. Now the projections vary quite a bit from one website to the other. 140, 186, 197 and 243. So you've got one website that claims you, we should probably bet the over, but the three others disagree completely. Now based on my calculations, the odds on the under should be minus 172. So we are getting a great bargain. But maybe you should be a fairly bit cautious about this one since we have a website that claims is expected to throw for 243 passing yards. So that's pretty confusing. The next one, yeah, this is one of my favorites. Miami Dolphins kicker Jason Sanders under six and a half kicking points at the Buffalo Bills and their great stout defense at minus 105. Well, the projections for the number of kicking points for Sanders, 3.5, 4.3 and 5.6. They are well above 6.5. The fair odds should be minus 188. So we are getting much greater odds. This is a good one. Pick seven, Julio Jones to catch less than five and a half passes at plus 121 odds. Here are the projections. They are slightly below five and a half, but based on these figures, the under should be a slight favorite. And right now it's a slight underdog. So those are good odds. Finally, the eighth and final pick, Matt Ryan from the Atlanta Falcons to throw at least one interception at minus 107. Well, who knows? Maybe the new acquisition by the Rams, Jalen Ramsey, might pick him off. That would be good for me and for you if you, if you tell my bet. Now, the projected number of interceptions by Ryan are as follows. And you would expect this play to have odds at minus 156. So this is another good one. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel and here's why this is very important. Okay, you need to watch my videos as soon as I release them. Otherwise, the odds may change. By the way, I've noticed that the odds on player props change pretty quickly and they change quite a bit sometimes they can go from plus 120 to minus 105 in a few minutes 
So if you subscribe to my channel, you will be alerted as soon as I release a new video and you'll be able to tail my bets with the same odds or similar ones. All right, so I'm really looking forward to see if there are some reactions from you about this new type of video. Please let me know if you enjoy it because if there's not much reaction and, and not many people look at this video, I'm probably going to stop doing it because uh, as you can imagine, it takes quite a bit of time to shoot a video, edit the video, upload it, enter the description of the video. Okay, so it has to be worth it. So if people don't care about my player props picks, I probably st I will stop doing it. So I hope you enjoy it. We'll keep track of the record in the following weeks and hopefully you'll see that those are very profitable picks. All right, so I'm Professor MJ, a statistics university professor. I appreciate you watching this video. I'll talk to you again very soon. Have a great weekend, guys.